So I started an open source project, what will be a dashboard for your home, where you cannot only control your smart home devices. It should be a place where you're getting information in a bigger context, like upcoming deliveries or public transport information near your home. I have some other ideas I would like to share with you in this video. When I see smart home applications nowadays, I really think they're not really tidy and clean design. The same goes for home dashboards. Another problem is that each company has its own application, what makes you kind of dependent, or you end up with a lot of apps on your device. If you want to be independent, you can use software like OpenHelp or Homebridge, what gives you the possibility to merge different devices from different companies to get also a high amount of functionality. On the other side, the front end is really customizable, but in my opinion, again, not really attractive to the eye. I was not sure about copyright, so I just put you some links in the description box. I mean, there are some nice concepts online, what you can find on several websites. Again, I put you some links in the description box, but they're just concepts and not real applications. This project what I'm working on should be mainly focusing on the front end, should be platform independent, and we use existing backends and extend their functionality. New services I'm thinking about are also more outside of the smart home context, like the upcoming deliveries and the public transport information. As well, I was thinking about integrating plant sensors better to get an overview about your plants or the battery status of your e-bike or car. My idea is to have a touch screen somewhere mounted on the wall where you can access the dashboard. Since it should be platform independent, you can also install it on your computer. Maybe you think a phone is a better place for that, but I don't want to have several notifications on it and I think the screen size is also important. So here you can see the work in progress and the default view of the dashboard. And on the left side you can see the menu where I'm currently working on, like with room control, that you have all devices separate by rooms, that you can see the packages and you can even add packages manually if you need it. Plans um, management, where you get an overview about your plans and where they are. Um, I'm planning to make a detailed video and a separated video about it. Um, the calendar tool, what I'm working on and the lamps. So in the middle you can see the boxes for the quick overview. Um, on the left side you can see the indoor temperature and you can control it. Um, the weather, nothing special. The light intensity of the whole flat you can control here. This is um, a box about um, public transport and or if you have a bike that you can have an idea um, how long it will take for your next appointment for example or when you have to go to work in the morning depending always on the calendar. Here the calendar um, and since in my wholesale there are different people with different calendars, you can switch in between. Um, the music player, if it's playing in the default mode, I was thinking about like a playlist view that you can quickly start them from there. And on the bottom line, some shortcuts, um, what you need frequently. On the right side is the notification table um, where you can see if you get a package today from which supplier. If you have a plant alert, so you get a notification from the sensor of your plants. For example, here one plant has not enough water or the washing machine is done what is um, figured out by the smart socket. Most of the data is just fake data because I'm focusing on the arrangement right now and design. And I want to step by step, want to integrate service by service. In some previous shots, you saw my work in progress, how the prototype looks right now. And maybe you get an idea in which direction I would like to go. This project is on GitHub and if you want to participate, just contact me on Twitter or YouTube. If you want to get more technical details, you can also check out my GitHub repository. I'm also planning to put it in a kind of series to document my progress. And I think that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and if you have any comments or feedback, please let me know.